No. 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 Why? Hey guys, what's going on? Jimmy here with One Road, and today we are installing these guys. These are speaker baffles by Boom Mat. And you can see the pictures there on the bottom. You're supposed to mount your speakers inside of these cups or hats or whatever you want to call them. Essentially, this is a foam speaker box or just speaker enclosure. This is for a round six and a half inch speaker and you literally just mount it inside of this. I'll show you what I mean. Ever since I installed this component speaker system into this 95 Suburban, I've been a little worried. And that is because behind this speaker, it's just open, open to the elements. Whatever can get down this window and through this weather guard can potentially ruin that speaker. Someone came up with the bright idea of this foam hat to enclose the speaker within the door. That way, if any water gets inside that door, passing that seal on the window, it's not going to get all over the back of your speaker, causing it to rust or the cone to rot out. It'll hopefully just drip right off of this. I'm hoping that this is strong enough to withstand the vibrations of the speaker, and it's not gonna give out itself, because I really wouldn't know if this thing gave out and maybe ripped on the back and had a hole and my speaker was getting ruined, the only way I would know that is if I took the whole door panel apart and investigated. <laughs> Gotta be very careful because this tip can puncture the speaker. And I don't want to do that. You can see inside the door panel, I have installed a sound deadening material, but that doesn't keep the weather out. It'll go something like that. So first observation is it's not going to fit through this plastic ring here. I'm gonna to have to take this ring off and hope that it fits through the factory opening in the door. I have the ring off and this hole is definitely bigger. So let's see here. All right, looks like it's gonna fit no problem, but I am going to have to mark out a section here for this crossover. That fits in there good. And basically what's going to happen is when I screw everything back together, it'll just sandwich this in between everything and the speaker will be completely protected from the elements and hopefully it'll give it a better sound. Okay. I made a little cut here for this crossover and everything is fitting perfect. Now I'm just trying to line up the screws and see how hard this is going to be to screw these original length screws in through all of this and find the hole. Up, oh, found it. Okay, I don't want to tighten them down too tight yet because this is kind of tweaking this thing a little bit. I just kind of want to get them started in the original holes and not make new ones. And last but not least, this upper, there we go. Next step is to eat a sourdough turkey sandwich that your wife brings to you. I soldered on some new longer speaker wire. And that's because while I do have to make a hole inside this baffle for the speaker wire to go through, I wanna make it at the very bottom. That way, if any water were to get down and drip on this baffle, it'll roll around and drip off of the bottom. If I make a hole anywhere else, there is possibility for water intrusion and I don't want that. So my hole is gonna be in the bottom, which means my speaker wire has to go through the bottom and route back up to this crossover. This old section of wire just wasn't long enough. So I'll probably put this hole about midway through. Right there, there's my hole, something like that. Just big enough for the speaker wire to go through. All right, I should be able to get my speaker wire through there just fine. I now have everything screwed down nice and tight, including the plastic ring and the speaker onto the plastic ring. I have my wire routed out the original hole that I was using, and it just has to make it to here. I stuck my arm through this access port here, pulled all the slack out, and routed the wire here. And there we have it. Everything is done, and the wiring is hooked up. In theory, this speaker should be completely protected from the elements because of this foam baffle that I just installed that's completely covering the outside of the speaker. So any water intrusion down inside of the door panel should not get to the speaker whatsoever. I'm working on the driver's side door now and it's simply a repeat of the passenger side door. Luckily this time my speaker wire is long enough so I won't have to do any soldering. The 
So speaker number two is officially done. All right, well, that is the job. I'm done. My front speakers are officially weather sealed, finally. It's something I was kind of worried about every time I took my truck out and it'd be raining or perhaps snowing. Now I don't have to worry about that, hopefully, thanks to these boom mat speaker baffles. Hopefully they won't rip open anytime soon and my speakers will be completely protected from any sort of water intrusion. I was able to pick these up on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description below this video if you're interested in that. Other than that, guys, this was an easy and quick one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some form of entertainment or even perhaps help from this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit that little bell icon so that you can be notified the next time I upload a video. Thank you guys for your support. Comment below if you have any suggestions for me. I'm Jimmy for One Road, and I will see you in the next one. I'm sitting here editing this video and I realized that I never checked for clearance when this window gets rolled down. Oh, I hear it. Yep, it's contacting. Oh man, there it is. Right there. Wow. No. 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 Why? 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 Well, my light just fell, which just adds to it. I just did all that work and the speaker baffle, which is the slim version, which is supposedly only three inches deep versus the normal, which is five inches deep. I can't imagine which vehicle fits a five inch deep speaker baffle, but it looks like my window is coming into contact with it. Now it doesn't look terrible, but it still is. And I know that will rub through or tear it over time. The good thing is, is I never roll these windows down really ever. The bad news is, is <laughs> I'm the type of person that can't leave that alone. So, um, I think I'm just going to run it for a little bit. I'll check it now that I know I can see it down through this rain gutter thing. And I certainly won't roll down the driver's side window all the way. But goodness, I, I just, I knew, I, I thought that I was ordering the slim version and that wasn't going to be an issue because even though it's three inches deep, it's sitting on top of, you know, the, the frame. So I thought that would help take up some of the room. I could go in there and try to space it out even more, but then what's the point? I'm trying to think, even if that does get ripped open on the back, it's still going to be protected from the weather. But if there is a hole and it is raining, potentially the whole thing could be not good because water could get in and then sit in there. I'm just going to have to keep an eye on it, I guess. Unfortunately, guys, this is just one of those jobs that <laughs> you do and then you don't know if it was worth doing or worth anything at all. So the product seems pretty decent. Uh, if you can verify that that would fit in your door, why not try them out? But uh, yeah, I just I thought I'd give you this little update. Hopefully you got something out of it. Thanks guys for watching again. Oh man.